and I apologize for the mess back here and uh, looking like I've been working in the yard all day because I have been. All right, so yard work done for the day. Got the pool put away for winter. Uh, so time to work on the forerunner a little bit. Um, got some new bulbs from Last Fit. Got the front switchbacks for the turn signals and marker lights and the rear turn signals. Um, if you remember a couple videos ago, we did the Last Fit backup bulbs and license plate lights and they've been working out good. So just got these this week. So let's get them installed. Uh, see what they look like. Should be much brighter and crisper. So excited for these. And I apologize for the mess back here and uh, looking like I've been working in the yard all day because I have been. Uh, put the pool away for the winter. Uh, summer is over. So uh, that's why I'm being able to use this space over here because the pool is gone. Uh, so yeah, let's get these bulbs in. All right, guys. So the process is pretty easy. Uh, for the rears, you just pop off the panel uh, that blocks the tail light. Um, simple pry tool on the front. Just pop it out and the back will let loose. Uh, set it aside and then it's the very top bulb um, twist it out swap the bulb and twist the new one back in now uh, with the new bulb which is quite a bit bigger you're gonna have to uh, finagle it a little more you shouldn't have to force anything so be careful not to break anything um, you're just gonna have to kind of find the right angle alternatively which I didn't do uh, it is easy to remove the whole tail light if you want and then you can get to everything really easy um, but I wanted to show it can be done with the tail light in uh, very simple um, pop the bulb in and pop the panel back in and you're good to go. Um, the fronts take a little bit more work, but they're not bad. Uh, remove the three bolts uh, that hold the inner liner to the bumper. And then I pull the two bolts out underneath the bumper. Um, use a pry tool to pry the liner, the fender liner from the bumper, and then just pop the bumper from the body. Uh, from here, you're gonna have to kind of just reach up in there with your arm to feel around. Uh, it's not too bad. I've got bigger arms than most people and I was able to get in there uh, Same thing twist the bulb out replace the bulb uh, And then you're gonna have to just kind of feel around to get the new bulb in there. Don't force anything um, You just got to kind of find the right angle and, and it'll just pop in uh, twist lock it in place and Bolt everything back together. It's pretty straightforward pretty simple. So with that being said uh, we're gonna wait till it gets a little dark and Go see what these look like at night I can tell you they're already bright during the day. Uh, I didn't leave the old ones in because the, the comparisons, uh, it, it's not <coughs> not even worth comparing. They're so much brighter and crisper um, that you'll just be able to see what the new ones look like. So uh, get it all buttoned back up. We'll get some video of them at night. And that's that, pretty simple one guys. Uh, nice and expensive upgrade that gives you a, a little more visibility during the day so people can see you and uh, they look more modern, crisper. So. Uh, thanks again. We'll see you on the next one.